just met John here. Hello, John. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, you're going to go to give a talk today here uh, concerning this groovy paralyzation, right? Yeah. Um, I have a question for you. Uh, I don't know if uh, it's groovy, a good, op a, a good option, sorry. Is groovy a, a good option for this uh, parallel patterns? Yes, it is, simply because it allows you to uh, express in a much shorter space of coding exactly what you want to say and do and carry out. And the whole point about the library is that it's designed to make it even easier for people who don't know how to program in parallel, and there are lots of those in the world, uh, it makes it so that all they have to do is write the code that they're used to writing and then they can use the library to make it go parallel mm -hmm. and get performance improvement on multi-core computers, the standard things you get in laptops and PCs, but also on, on clusters, i.e. networks of PCs. You can download the same programs, mm -hmm. the same parallel architectures onto nodes in, in clusters and the whole thing still works with no changes. Okay, I believe you're doing, you're, right now you're working in, at your own, own stuff. Yeah. What is that? Why is that you're doing your own stuff? Okay. The reason I'm doing my own stuff is simply because it's based on a theory that first appeared in 1978. Yeah. It's old, yeah. it's tried, and it's tested, and it works. Therefore, we can build safe, secure, reason we can reason about the sorts of systems that we're talking about and that's a, a technology called communicating sequential processes this was invented by a, a, a professor in uh, the uk called tony hoare and people have been working and are still working on understanding how parallel processes communicate with each other and this fundamental theory has been correct proved correct demonstrated to be correct for all over that period of time. The beauty of what I've been doing is that you don't actually have to understand the mathematics, you don't have to understand the theory, you can just apply the engineering of the system knowing that underpinning it is this theoretical basis. And therefore, all that really needs to happen is that so long as you build your systems correctly, big problem, then you can reason about the behavior. And the beauty of the library that I built is that it does all the construction of your parallel system for you, and I've made sure that it gets it right. So therefore, when you run your program, you don't have to deal with the parallelism at all. All that happens is that um, it does all that hard work for you under the covers and that's what I've done and you're talking about and that's what I'm talking about this afternoon I have a feeling that they may laugh at some of my code why why because I built the original classes that allowed us to help uh, students learn parallel processing a long time ago <laughs> and because I built them such a long time ago and because they've been tested by upwards of 300 students, and students are really good at breaking code, <laughs> um, then uh, I am loath to change what I have done. <laughs> and therefore, uh, they may say, oh, you could do it better this way, that way, or the other. And I'm actually starting to feel a little nervous. But hopefully, that won't matter, because the idea about doing the parallel is what is important. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. So, loads of luck. And see you around. See you around. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.